welcome back. As you can see, it's Halloween, or as I like to call it, not quite Halloween, but close enough for me to put a costume on and do this for you. So if you're wondering, uh, yes, I did go to the grocery store to get supplies dressed exactly like this, and I did that for you. So I didn't really feel like coming up with a beginner one for this one because it's Halloween, and my theme was spooky cocktails. And I feel like you can just get dressed up, do shots, and then do something very scary, and that'll be spooky. So if you're a beginner, do shots, do something scary. Uh, we're gonna make an intermediate and an advanced mezcal margarita today. Follow along. Squeezing my limes. Nothing to see here. So today we are gonna do a dark and kind of blood red mezcal margarita. And to do that, I need lime juice. Someone said on my last video that I looked really good as a witch. And so today I took off all of my makeup so that you could see that really I just am one. Can she eyeball an ounce? Fuck yeah, she can. All right, for our intermediate friend today, um, we're going to do a couple of sage leaves. They need to be fresh. Um, just bruise them a little bit and then throw them in. Some ice. Two ounces of pomegranate juice. Half an ounce lime juice, a quarter of an ounce, or more. A maple syrup. Two ounces of mezcal, so it gets that nice smoky flavor. My dry ice is having a conversation behind me. Hold on a second. And half an ounce of Chambord. Any raspberry, blackberry, or even cassis liqueur will work, but this one's delicious. Give it a nice good shake. The glass. She's very pretty. Put some ice in her. And we'll garnish it with a little bit of dried sage. Be a little bit more it's pretty there we go one intermediate sage pomegranate mezcalita enjoy we're gonna do more or less the exact same thing for the advanced drink except we're gonna add a few little tastes and kick up some of the ingredients just a little notch so be ready join me all right you want to start by putting the frozen hopes and dreams of lost children into the shaker. Lots of frozen lost dreams. And some more green things you ripped out of your garden. All right, in seriousness, this is some maple syrup that I infused with some sage. Smells better than the tears of lost children. Quarter ounce. We'd like two ounces of blood of newt, two ounces of essence of smoke, a half an ounce of the sweat of an elf, and unicorn blood, half of an ounce. One small dash of arsenic. Makes it sweeter with a hint of bitter. Again, shake it. All right, for all of you sitting at home uh, who are playing along, uh, I made it exactly the same as the intermediate drink, except I infused the maple syrup beforehand with shit with shit with bish except I added a dash of orange bitters and I infused the maple syrup with sage, just for some added flavor. All right, for the ice for this beverage, we're going to go with some pre-made zombie ice with our little friend Hector the skeleton. Hector likes to take his bath with smoked sage. 
helps cleanse the air. So we shall help him. You're welcome. All right, everyone. Happy Halloween. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching that happen. I am very, very excited to try these ones. So, Wesley. Hi. Hello. I crushed up all of your hopes and dreams and put them in this beverage. Are you no, ready to try? Good. Yeah, which one's which? They both look great. So, these ones are very similar. This one has a couple extra taste enhancers. Um, but I want to even, I, I don't want to get too much into it because I kind of want to see if you can tell the difference. Great. I'm starting here because it's closer. Yep. Yay, the intermediate? Yeah. I love it. Oh, I'm really, wow. I'm really excited for this one. That seems like exactly like a Kristen and West drink. Oh, that's so nice. I needed that today. I really needed oh, that today. Oh, it is. It's the, per oh, it's the perfect balance of sweet, mm -hmm. tart, and smoky. Yeah. It tastes like cranberry juice, but I know there's booze in it. I guess, yeah. There's that little pucker at the end of like, yeah. with cranberry. I, I know it's pomegranate and mescal and raspberry. and raspberry, but I don't know. For some reason, I just get like the smoothest cranberry with booze. I don't know. Hey, it's... I'm not a professional taste tester. This is what I Okay, find. see if you can taste the difference. <laughs> okay. Oh, man. Look at this hot tub and dude. Right? This is better, and I don't know, I couldn't tell you why, though. I cannot tell you anything about what's in there that's different. And I love the way the burnt, or whatever burnt sage hits your nostrils. I was just going to say, so the, a large nice. part of the reason that it tastes so different is because of the smell. Yeah, it's so good. Because um, side by side, taste wise, like you cannot tell that I infused the maple syrup with sage. It's a waste of time. You had ginger beer. Was one don't do it. They were both supposed to have ginger beer, but then they were both so full, and I thought, don't fuck with it. It looks really good as is. I'm so glad you didn't add ginger beer. This is so yeah. good. Yeah. Roll the dice, Kristen, and uh, you win. You win every time. And then there's orange bitters in here. Mmm. And that one? Yeah. But I, I mm. honestly don't know if you can taste the difference. I like. You can you absolutely can taste, taste the, the difference. difference. And definitely. this one is definitely better. This is superior. Yeah. All right. Well, since this one's a better drink, yeah, I'm gonna take it with you me. and your little hot tub buddy can <laughs> just just gonna add them to my chain. All right. I hope everybody has a safe and happy All Hallows Eve. That's the twat way of saying Halloween. Have a happy Halloween, guys. Tell me about it. Share what you did with me in the comments. That would be amazing. Also, if you made it this far, congratulations. Obviously you liked it, so like it. And then if you wanted to subscribe and you haven't already, why are you waiting? Go, go subscribe, do it, do it right now. Right now, right now, just that button right there. Hit it, yeah. And if you're looking for something else to watch, this guy right here, I uh, attempted to find something to wear for you today and you can watch how that went. It was great having you. Happy Halloween. You're welcome, enjoy.